Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Today I want to show you the Spot Events feature that's brand new in Studio One 6 and that can be incredibly useful in certain situations, especially when the time code position of the audio material has to be exact, which is often the case when you're working with video, for example. Now we also have a brand new video track in Studio One 6, of course. I'm going to link you a video about that here in the top corner. And let's check out how Spot Event can be a complementary feature to that. So in this project right here, I have a video file currently inserted onto the video track. And now I could go ahead and do all of the kinds of edits to it that we would expect from classic audio and MIDI events, usually in Studio One. In previous versions of Studio One, the video track has been yeah, merely a playback track, so to say, it was only able to play back the video file that you inserted and yeah, maybe adjust an offset to it, but that's it. Now I can go ahead, go to the split tool, for instance, set split points. I can also go ahead with um, command and option on a Mac or control and alt on Windows and slip the content inside of the event container around like this, which can also be incredibly useful in many situations. And let's say that I'm now importing a voiceover and that has to start at an exact position here. And sometimes when you're editing, it can be quite easy to accidentally move the file like so, and then you're not quite sure anymore where that original position of the file was. If you close the song and then reopen it, you can't even access the undo history anymore. So in that case, you're in a bit of a pickle maybe. And this is where the brand new spot events feature can come in incredibly useful. So you find that when you select the event and you go to event up here in the menu bar and then to spot. I also have that assigned to a hotkey. And what you can do is click on this button here to get that file back onto its original position. Then hit OK. And as you can see, the event is snapping right back to where it was in the first place. Now, this is really, really useful. Um, this works with any kind of audio material that has been recorded inside of Studio One or is a broadcast wave, meaning a wave file that has timecode information embedded inside of it. And um, yeah, this can be great and really a time saver. Otherwise, you'd have to look up the original positions all the time. Another thing that can be very useful is if you're importing brand new audio and that needs to go to a specific position, then you can also use the spot events feature very nicely. Of course, once again, select the event, go to event and then spot and then just enter the exact start time that you want in either seconds, samples, bars or frames. That's also possible. You can also set an end time so you can really crop this file to your liking. Let's say that I needed to start at uh, maybe 50 seconds in. I can just enter 50 here, hit OK. And as you can see, the file is going to be inserted straight at 50 seconds. So in certain use cases for professional audio editors, this can be a life saving feature sometimes. And hopefully you'll find this useful in Studio One Six. Thank you for watching.